Welcome to another episode of Lenovo Presents Smarter AI Transforming India in association with ETCIO and Times Techies. I'm your host Gautam Srinivasan and in this series we explore how artificial intelligence is reshaping industries, transforming businesses and redefining the future. Today we are tackling one of the most critical conversations in AI, security. As businesses accelerate their AI adoption, securing data, systems and infrastructure has never been more important. While AI offers incredible security capabilities, it is also being weaponized, creating new challenges for enterprises. So, to help us navigate this landscape, we have with us two distinguished guests with us today. Mr. Venkat Raghavan SK, Director of Solutions and Services Group or SSG at Lenovo India, who brings deep expertise in AI-driven enterprise solutions and security frameworks. And Manu Dvivedi, Partner and Leader, Cyber Security and GCC Risk Consulting at PwC India, who has been closely advising businesses on risk management and cyber security frameworks. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on this podcast. Great to have you both on board. Pleasure to be here, Gautam. Look forward to an exciting session on cyber. Manu, great to have you on board as well. Good day, Gautam. Great to be here. Thanks. Fantastic. Looking forward to a more engaging conversation on a very, very relevant topic around security. Well, let's look at the cybersecurity <laughs> landscape, the trends and the challenges. AI is redefining security both as a defensive tool and as a potential threat. And the nature of cyber threats is evolving from deep fake frauds to AI powered malware. So the question is how prepared are businesses to tackle these threats? Uh, Venkat, from Lenovo's perspective, what are the most pressing cyber security challenges enterprises are facing today? So enterprises are in sort of a crossroad with respect to cyber security landscape today. On one hand, they try to put more products and then more technology into securing their both at the periphery as well as their applications and the web. There is an increased threat coming out of actors whom you don't really know. And this is also getting powered through AI. AI infrastructure, AI enterprises and AI cyber tools try to fortify your security landscape. Equally, the threat actors are equally capable of using AI to disrupt and then penetrate into your network. So it's a very, very interesting game of who wins. And, and hence, organizations are taking a very, very serious look at their enterprise cyber security infrastructure and then embedding a lot of AI to be really one up in terms of protecting their environment. All right, Venkat, let's take that point forward and Manu, I'll come to you because one of the most significant innovations in AI-driven security comes from Intel-based hardware security solutions, which are embedded into enterprise ecosystems. But to take this point more broadly, Manu, from a consulting and risk perspective, how do businesses need to rethink cyber security strategies in the AI era? What's the game plan they should go for? Sure, Gautam. Um, so, Gautam, uh, if you look into cybersecurity now is no more a defense game. Mm -hmm. uh, what's happening is as we are uh, progressing with AI, um, what we are seeing is AI is both the weapon as well as the shield. So, what's, what we are seeing in cybersecurity, what organizations are looking at is, uh, first, they need to really understand what's their threat landscape is how it's changing, what are the vectors which they are exposed to, what are the new vectors they are exposed to. Second, when you get into your risk-based approaches, uh, say that whatever your strategy is in terms of a risk-based, uh, what we are seeing is that that's evolving on a daily basis hmm. with AI being more adaptive, more real-time uh, situations coming in, your threats coming in. It's very important to look into your risk-based approaches there. Uh, third is what's the governance and the compliance is there uh, approach to. Let's see uh, what's happening is there are different uh, frameworks coming in. We, we see that in Europe we have AI frameworks coming in, regulations coming in, and more and more every day it's getting added. It's very important that while you are focusing on AI-driven use cases, how you are ensuring that the ethical AI is also played, how you are compliant with them. Um, I think another important aspect is uh, how you get your people aware of more of AI, how they learn to 
work along with AI, mm. right? While you are working along with uh, AI, it's important that human element is in the center, in the core of that one. We are not letting it go. We will talk about more. Last but not the least, I think what we need to focus on is how we are resilient, mm. right? While we focus on AI, we are more and more dependent on AI. We have more threat vectors, threat landscapes um, being evolving with AI. At the same time, we are using AI to defend them, mm. right? So that's the situation. But if anything happens, how resilient you are? That's a billion dollar question because business resilience in times of uncertainty is what separates the good from the great. And if AI can come in in the context of security, in the context of resilience, and then in the context of growth, it's a more organic journey, both for Absolutely. the enterprise, the employees, and of course, for the customers as well. All right, Absolutely. let's take this talking point forward on AI as a security <coughs> enabler because while AI creates new risks, it also offers the most advanced solutions for cyber security and AI driven security solutions can analyze vast amounts of data, detect threats proactively and automate responses. So the question that I have for you Venkat is how AI can be leveraged, how Lenovo is leveraging AI to enhance enterprise security. Because in the context of what I'm hearing, the idea is that attackers need to win only one day. Defenders need to win every day. So how does AI help the defenders win every day? Yeah, it's a great question. And uh, Lenovo is in the forefront of uh, making AI affordable and smarter AI for all. Uh, in the uh, business I am in, which is the services and solutions group, uh, we constantly uh, help our customers secure their enterprise against cyber. So and our cyber philosophy is starting right from the device. We are known to be the world's largest technology company with respect to devices, right from the client to the data center. And then our cyber starts right from the device, right from protecting the BIOS, the firmware upgrades and the endpoint security going up to a managed security as a service. And here we work with leading technology partners like Sentinel One for the endpoint security and a larger engagement with Microsoft in running our SOC. We also do support heterogeneous multiple technologies to secure the customer. All in all, it is about uh, uh, the, the processes we bring in in terms of securing the enterprises. And as uh, the cyber landscape, as uh, Gautam said, is evolving, AI is becoming a very, very important ingredient to whatever you do in cyber. Hmm. And more and more technology companies are embedding AI into their uh, offerings and the technology. And more you do it, more you are secure. Moving on, one of the key innovations that enterprises are adopting is AI-powered secure processing environments. Now, Intel's AI-optimized Xeon processors, for instance, are designed to enhance security at the hardware level, ensuring that cyber threats are neutralized even before they reach the application layer. Now, in the context of how the ecosystem is responding to the security needs of enterprises, Manu, uh, what best practices should should organizations adopt when integrating AI into their security strategies? Because the enable e enablement ecosystem is mature enough to offer a lot of options to leaders. So in terms of best practices, what can they do to respond? Uh, great question, uh, Gautam. Uh, before I answer, let, let's contextualize what's happening is, mm. right? Uh, on one side, we have the hackers, the bad boys, and then other side, we have the protectors, the good boys, right? Uh, both are using AI mm. with the uh, use of AI, the speed and the adaptiveness and the real threats. The threats are much closer to us, right? Uh, as a result, when the speed is much faster, your manual efforts will not be able to defend them. So what's happening is when we talked about uh, what Venkat mentioned about a SOC piece of it, how we are getting AI into our defense. Mm. So that's important, your security operation centers, how you are getting 24 by 7 AI support and AI driven models to protect mm. the threats which we are. That's very important what uh, organizations are looking into. Second part is uh, when you get your people very much trained on the uh, different tools and the modeling which they are working on, how they are utilizing AI part of it, mm. right? Uh, are they utilizing AI models which are much faster uh, to protect. 
Uh, the third is that there are so many uh, people need to be very much uh, aware of the compliance requirements, hmm. right? Uh, now a day um, when we have an AI, uh, is that an ethical AI which we are working on? Because if you change the model behind, hmm. right, then everything can go for a toss there, right? So something which we need to be very wary about is what are the ethical usage hmm. and the uh, way we have developed our models are utilized. So in terms of prescriptions and best practices, what are the top one or two that you would suggest to an enterprise? I think human in the core, that's very important. Where we focus on when we are developing AI, we are not fully dependent on them. Yeah. We are using the human intelligence. Uh, that's very important. And second part is how you are ensuring the compliance with the global requirements. Hmm. Um, uh, whether that's your European AI regulations or different NIST frameworks which are providing you the good practices to utilize AIs. I think these are the two parts to start with as the system is evolving right now. We have discussed AI as a security enabler, but let's look at the flip side. AI is also being weaponized by cyber criminals as our guests have mentioned. So the big question is how can organizations stay ahead. Now, one area where Intel has been pioneering AI security is at the hardware level. Now, AI enhanced ransomware is evolving and Intel's built-in security solutions are helping enterprises stay ahead of these threats. Now, by leveraging AI-driven anomaly detection and hardware embedded security layers, Intel is ensuring a more resilient cyber security ecosystem. So the question is, Manu, what role do regulations and governance play in AI-driven security frameworks? You touched upon governance or, uh, for the earlier answers. If you can flesh it out a bit for us. Uh, yeah, so we've been talking about CIA, confidentiality, integrity, and uh, availability part of it. Uh, with AI, what we need to focus on is the transparency, uh, your scalability, and predictability, right? Uh, so what compliances and the regula regulations are helping us is guiding us how we can make it an ethical AI usage. Hmm. What we are expected expecting from an AI so that you have some trust built in the whole system. Hmm. That's very important. Second is uh, when we look into the regulations and it's still evolving, the space is evolving and we don't, we see that every, uh, every uh, large organization is Focusing on the frameworks, which are we just have a couple of them right now from the NIST AI part of it, and um, some regulations from the Europe side and mm. um, US and uh, data privacy, GDPR, and all those stuff. Mm. So the data privacy part, which is very very important because it's all data uh, which we are focusing. We also have on. the DPDP Act, DPDP here, right? DPDP yeah. coming yeah. in as well. So it's important for us to ensure that uh, whatever we talk about, uh, how we get the data privacy and the data. Uh, related aspects well taken care of. All right, as we enter the last leg of this conversation, let's look at the crystal ball. Venkat, what are the major trends that you see shaping the future of AI-driven cybersecurity? AI is going to be very much part and pivot of entire cyber security operations in any enterprise. Whether it's a managed services provider or the enterprises, AI is going to be all pervasive. What AI can do, which traditional models cannot do, is they have large data sets to scan through and hence they will be able to predict as well as analyze the threat actors far more efficiently than what it is today. Then it also leads to self-learning, that is authentication, learning as, as well as remediation. In the remediation, more and more of humanizing the implementation of actions is going to bring a lot of confidence uh, to the people behind the processes and it is going to really scale up in terms of the remediation of such threats which come every day. Manu, coming to you, uh, because a major focus area for the future of AI security will be AI-driven zero trust frameworks. What advice would you give to enterprises preparing for an AI-driven security landscape? Sure, uh, Gautam, if we see the cybersecurity in AI era, is actually like a chess game. Those who, th who can think ahead, mm. remain ahead, right? That's where the whole proactiveness which AI provides us. So we need to bring the proactiveness through AI in our security from reactive to a proactive approach. So who can be faster than the bad boys? How you can bring those models in and AI can bring that proactiveness, that's one part of it. Second, you touched upon a very important part of AI and human, right? 
Uh, we believe that it's very important while we are utilizing AI for all the security parts of it, but it's important that human is in the center and oversight is providing. Uh, the third part is, I think uh, organizations, while we are adopting this whole AI thing very, very uh, in a faster and a quicker manner, it's important whether your people are talented enough or they're trained on the AI part of it. So that's you need crucial. to invest on them. That's, that's very, very important, right? You are getting ready for any AI environment and your people are not aware of it and they're not trained on it. Manu, the need for continuous monitoring because the talent part is covered, the governance part is covered, but as we mentioned, the threat landscape keeps evolving 24-7. The defenders need to keep winning. What would you say to that? So, uh, Gautam, AI security in today's era is more like a marathon. Yeah. Right, where we need to be continuously improvising on whatever we have today, whether that's our security models, security approaches, security strategies. So it's very important that how we continuously monitor, how we how the new threat landscape are evolving, and how we create our or design our strategies to defend them. So that's very important. So what uh, I would I would say the enterprises who will be adopting to their AI security, if they can focus on a very transparent and ethical way. And those who are able to leverage AI in their day-to-day -day modeling in a transparent way, that's the way to go forward. All right. Well, that brings us to the end of this discussion. Today, we explored AI's dual role in security, both as a defense mechanism and a potential risk. We also explored how ecosystem players like Intel are helping enterprises adapt to this evolving landscape. A huge thank you to you, Venkat, and to you, Manu, for sharing with us your valuable insights on this topic. And of course, for our listeners, stay tuned for our next episode as we continue to uncover AI's transformative impact across industries. Until then, this is your host, Gautam Srinivasan, signing off from Lenovo Presents Smarter AI Transforming India in association with ETCIO and Times Techies. Stay safe, stay secure.